Hi, today I want to talk to you about my trip to Semuk Champagne and tell you some cool stories that happened to me while I was going there. First of all, I left from Flores in Guatemala. I jumped into a, a small van and we were about eight to nine people fitting in there. And we drove through the mountains, really, really hard road, very, very crazy, crazy roads. And you just drive through the jungle, through the mountains, but the panorama and the views are just like, absolutely amazing. At one point we stopped somewhere and the new guy came into the van with this ukulele and started singing song for us. That was like the most epic moment of uh, this trip to Simuk Champay. Check this small footage I took at that time. driving at one point we reached like the top of a mountain and the view was just amazing I think the footage I'm gonna show you right now is doesn't give a real view of, on how nice it was but it was breathtaking and when we got to Semuk Champay we jumped on a small pickup truck that took us up the mountains and brought us to our hostels and my hostel was right next to the Semuk Champay national park this hostel was actually awesome it was like a small small um house open open to the outside and um it, there was like three to four beds inside this little house but the craziest part of this trip was the actual simuk champay falls all the pools and everything this was awesome there was even some natural slides I followed some tourists that were there and we found a secret cave under the falls. It was amazing. It was the best part of my trip in Guatemala. One thing I really enjoyed doing was climbing the last fall. Um, it's actually a big, big fall. I climbed it on the side and I jumped from the top to the bottom. And it was actually scary because the current was pretty strong and I would have never done it if it was not of the guy in front of me doing it. But I did it and I was scared. I survived and I'm here today. After our, um, our day at the fall, we went back to the hostel and as we left the park, we didn't know that, but there was a bunch of kids and people selling food and drinks. And I was surprised. I never seen this before in my life. I'm white and I'm from Canada, so you would not see that here. But there was some like eight years old, nine years old kids trying to sell tourists beers and stuff. And they were actually bargaining and like, like two for nine, two for five. And like, they knew money more than people that are 20 years old here in Canada. They seem to be more conscious about the value of money than people that has college degrees and stuff. It was a big, big cultural shock, but it was an amazing, amazing experience. If I had to go back to Guatemala, I would love to go back to Simuk Champay. It's really far, it's eight, like it's, I think it's eight hours drive from Guatemala City as well, but it's worth it. If you can stay there two, three, four days, I really, really advise you to do so. If you enjoyed today this video about my travelings and the stories I'm telling you, let me, know, let me know in the comments below. I will make more videos like this. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you tomorrow in another video.